Steve Peterson here with Infinity Investments and welcome to our channel where we talk all things commercial and investment real estate. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how do you know when you found the ideal replacement property for your 1031 exchange? Now, the whole purpose of a 1031 is to acquire a better asset, not to defer capital gains taxes. The deferral of the capital gains taxes is the icing on the cake. It's what makes it worth it. It's what makes it worth you selling this one asset so that you can acquire a better asset. So the number one point on how you have no, you found the one, right? Is number one, that it fits your investment criteria. Now, this requires you to have a defined investment criteria. And I've got videos on how you establish your investment criteria. Something that's really important and a lot of seasoned investors even, you know, kind of freestyle it when buying properties. When you're exchanging, not really the time to freestyle. You want to have a defined investment criteria so that you evaluate a lot of properties and you find the one, that special one that fits that investment criteria. Now, you've got to sit down and define what that is. I advise that you do an existing analysis of what the, your existing property, your downland property, what is that producing? What is the rate of return on that property's equity? What are you making on that property's equity? Because that'll help you to find out how much money you need to make on the next property in order for it to be a better asset. So the number one thing is you need to find an investment property that fits your defined investment criteria. Not just something that looks good from the outside or looks good on paper. Now, number two, number two is verifying, verifying the numbers on the property to confirm that the property fits your investment criteria. Your investment criteria really should have some specifics in there about rate of return, whether that's cap rate, cash on cash return, internal rate of return, whatever your metric it is that you're looking, if you're looking at price per unit, price per square foot, if you're looking at a certain amount of upside in a certain period of time in a certain area, classes of property, A, B, C, D, uh, areas, and, and all of that. But, but the second thing, what I'm saying to you is you've got to confirm that the numbers are what is being presented. Now, a lot of people just look at the marketing package, look at the broker's pro forma. Now, for experienced investors, obviously, this shouldn't be something that you miss, but a lot of people still miss it. And in a rushed environment, because you know 1031 exchanges are time sensitive, people tend to rush. And another one of my videos when I talk about you know not falling into the traps that people fall into when they're looking for a replacement property is you gotta start looking early. A lot of times start looking for that replacement property before you've sold your down leg, right? And that, that way you're not in so much of a time crunch. You've got the time to sit down and to define what it is that you're looking for so that you can make sure that you find that ideal property that fits your investment uh, criteria and you've got time to confirm it. So you wanna be able to get those profit and loss statements, the, the trailing 12 months, very important trailing 12 months so you can see the month to month differences and the last two to three years of the actual financial statements. And a great way to see the actuals is what their P&L says from a QuickBooks statement, not a spreadsheet. And even better if you can get their Schedule E's from their taxes. Now, a lot of people are not going to give you their Schedule E's unless you're in contract, and even then, it's hard to get. But a wise broker who's listing and selling property will make the profit and loss statements available for you prior to going into escrow. So you want to ask for that. All right. So none, the number two point is define is excuse me is to confirm. I've already defined our investment criteria and, and, and see that the property matches it. The second thing is to confirm that the numbers, the actual numbers, match your investment criteria. And the third and final piece to making sure that you found the one, uh, the soulmate property, so to speak, is, is to confirm that this property 
is a better asset than the one you're selling. Now, I say that up front so it's a little bit redundant, right? But if you start with an investment criteria and then you find the property that fits that criteria and then you look and say, hey, we need to confirm these numbers, right? You go out and confirm the numbers. Good. Now, you still got to do some thorough due diligence once you're in contract. And that typically involves you obviously getting inspections, termite inspections, building inspections, sometimes phase one environmental inspections, surveys if necessary. But really, and so those are part of it, but really, you got to get your feet to the street. You got to walk the units. You got to understand the property. Because sometimes even the numbers don't tell you the whole story. Okay, if there's something changing in that neighborhood or something changing in that property, like for instance, the roof is on its last leg, and hey, the last two, three years, they've been making it through. But if you buy it and then that roof caves in on you and you weren't prepared for that, or you didn't ask for a credit or a price reduction, you know, that, that, that can make it a sour taste in your mouth. And the worst thing you can do in an exchange, I think, is sell a great property, something that is making you money, that you love, you love this property, and then buy something that you hate or buy something that you're not as excited about because the whole thing with this is to acquire a better asset and to defer the taxes, right? So in order to do that, we got to make sure the property fits our defined investment criteria, number one. Number two, we've got to confirm that the numbers match up with our investment criteria. And number three, we've got to make sure that this asset, this uplet asset, is a better asset than a downlet. And all, all the phases, the, the investment criteria, the confirmation of numbers, the physicality of the property, the neighborhood, the walking of it, the story of the building. Every building's got a story. You gotta find that out in your due diligence. Walk, get your feet to the street, really know that building, right? And if you've done this diligently, you will have known that you found that replacement property. This, this 1031 exchange process is not easy. It's doable. You gotta have the right team. Make sure you, if you wanna engage our team to help you out, click the link below, book a meeting with us. Let's sit down and talk some business. If this video was helpful, like it, share it, subscribe if you have it, so you can stay in tune with, to all the commercial real estate and investment real estate updates that we do on a weekly basis. Hope, I wish you the best of success in your investing career. Into the next video, peace out.